In this video, I will show you how to use the score items function of the site package to create a composite variable. First, we'll load the Haven and Psych packages. And then we'll load the Harry Potter dataset. And when we look at the Harry Potter dataset by clicking on the Environment tab and then clicking the name dataset, we see that there are a number of questions assessing the five-factor model of personality. We will create a composite variable representing participant scores on the extraversion dimension. First, we'll use the data.frame function to create a data frame with only the relevant variables that we want to work with. So there are something like 44 questions in the entire five-factor model questionnaire, but we're only interested in the eight questions related to extraversion. Next, we'll create a list of keys that represent which variables in our new data frame that need to be reverse scored. So I determined which items needed to be reverse scored by looking at the scoring rules for the scale. So in this case, it's question two, question five, and question seven that need to be reverse scored. And those numbers refer to the order that I listed them in my in the data frame that I just created. So item two happens to be FFM6. It needs to be reverse scored. Item five happens to be uh, FFM21, and it needs to be reverse scored. And item seven happens to be FFM31, and it's the one that needs to be reverse scored. We then pass those keys and the data frame that we made to the function score items. And score items does all the work of creating the composite variable for us. Now the next two lines simply save the data. And importantly, this line here, dataset dollar sign extra version gets assigned extraversion.scores. That's the line that adds a new variable to dataset. So if we look at dataset again after running this code, and we scroll all the way to the end of the dataset. We see there's a new column now called extra version, and these scores represent each participant's score on the extra version dimension of the five factor model. Now, the last thing I want to show you in this video is that we can check the reliability of the scale with one additional line. So simply asking for the alpha uh, variable of the extraversion.scales variable will print out the Chromevax alpha reliability for our scale, in this case, 0.75.